everyone and welcome to my new dory paint video you know lately i'm trying sometimes to step away from this image of an ideal fashion doll all this you know contoured makeup uh, dressed up and everything very adult uh, and to create more cute dolls sometimes for change and like this we made already a giraffe doll like this we made already watermelon party doll yeah there were probably some other dolls that i don't remember at the moment yeah but doesn't matter today is another kind of repaint like this and today we're going to make a pirate doll and the model for this makeover will be this abby doll uh, first of all, because I wore it just two or three times on my channel on Abby doll and it was all the time amazing. The result was much better than the before doll. So I'm really curious to see how this doll will look in such a more childish style makeover because all the previous times I've made her yeah, this kind of an ideal model. So this makeover is also a collaboration with my mom. She has created an amazing outfit with lots of details. Really, I can't wait to show it to you. But you have to wait till the end of this video. But now it's my time to work. I'm going to take my acetone, scissors, all my tortured materials and let's start working. I begin like always with removing her shoes and clothes and then I cut her hair as short as I can. Then I make her head soft using hot air of a hair dryer to be able to remove it and then I pull the rest of her hair from the inside of her head using my tweezers. I use like always pure acetone to remove the doll's face and this time her face is covered with a layer of some glitter varnish or something like this and it takes quite a long time to get rid of it completely. This doll will have a pirate hat, so I will reroute her hat this time because if I put first a wig with its own cap on her head and then still a big pirate hat on top of it, her head will look just huge and it's already disproportional enough. So let's reroute today for once. And I use synthetic blonde hair and a rerouting tool from Retro Dolls US web store. When I'm done, I add some tacky glue inside of her head, spread it nicely with Q-tips and then I let it dry overnight. And while the head is drying, let's work on her body. It's also covered with the same thick layer of the same frost glitter and the only way to remove it is to sand it off. Because if I use pure acetone, the same like for her face, this acetone will just melt her body and destroy it completely. Now it looks good and clean I think, so I can remove the dust and my own fingerprints from it with an acetone free nail polish remover. This doll has a blue skin color and it means we will need to use some color theory magic to make it more realistic looking. And today I will show you how I do it with my smartphone. I use an app called Color Lab, then I open Harmonizer and here I need to find the same blue color like the doll's body is. It looks of course a little bit different on camera, but I think this is the closest blue. And if I want to neutralize it, I need to cover the doll with this dark peach or light terracotta color, you can call it like this. 
So I'm going to mix together these two chalk pastels, soft pastels, and then I will apply the mix to the doll's face. And then I will spray it with the sealant. By the way, a little life hack how to clean your brushes really quickly when you work with dry pastels. You can buy such a sponge for fast cleaning makeup brushes. It's a very simple construction, but it works perfectly. You just need to wrap your brush over the sponge and all the powders will stay inside of the sponge and you can use the brush with another color without washing it with water and then drying it for hours. They sell them for sure in Sephora and this one I've ordered from AliExpress. It was less than one dollar, I think. And I think they sell them on Amazon as well, you can check it online. It's a very handy thing and for example this brush that I'm using now, I've used just an hour ago for black pastels. And look, now I'm working with orange without washing the brush and it's clean and perfect. Then I'm applying a layer of pink pastels to make your skin tone less orange. I think I'm quite happy with her new skin tone and now I'm going to sketch her eyes and eyebrows. And let's also probably start answering the questions that you've left in the comment section under my videos. And the first question is how many dolls have you made? It's already really quite difficult to count, but I think I've made already about 130 dolls, I think. Yeah, let's say 130 dolls in two years. Is it a lot? I don't know. What do you think? 130 dolls in two years. It's enough or should I, should I make more or less? I don't know. Let's take the next question. How long does it take you to do a complete repaint on a doll? I mention it sometimes in my videos, it always takes about one week per doll. It's never less than five days, for sure never. Normally seven days, but of course some repaints take a lot longer. Like for example, right now I'm working on one doll already for a month and it's still far from being ready. And here is the next question. Do you also do other arts like watercolors or sketching? You know, I used to do it before, and I was even thinking in the beginning of my channel about making some videos about sketching with markers, for example, or watercolors, but the last years my doll just took over completely, and I really have no time for different kinds of art. But maybe one day I will go back to it, or I will develop something new, discover some new kinds of art. And let's take the last question for today. What is your favorite doll you've made so far or your favorite style of doll to create? It's of course very difficult to name one doll. Their very favorite one. Yeah, it doesn't exist probably. I love all of them. But I have of course some special feelings towards all my dolls with red hair. I don't know why, but I even have one of them on my avatar. You can see it now. And also the most recent dolls are often the most favorite ones because you still feel that energy between you and the doll because the magic has just happened. Now it's contouring time and this time I begin with highlighting the highest spots of the face. She has blonde hair and that's why I want to keep her skin tone quite fair and not make it darker than it is already now. Otherwise, there will be too much contrast between her skin and her very light fair hair.
Now I can finally take my pencils and start drawing the eyes. Of course, we are so much influenced by the Pirates of the Caribbean that I was just immediately thinking about a pirate girl with heavy smoky eyes, lots of accessories in her hair, you know, another incarnation of Jack Sparrow. But then I've stopped myself and decided to go another direction. I will vice versa make a very nature looking girl. I don't really think they have lots of makeup on a real pirate ship. Her lips I also want to keep very natural looking, like there is no lipstick on. I want to make her eyes very light blue, like clear seawater. grey shadows to the white of her eyes and like this I can show the round eye shape. And then with a light pencil I draw the highlights. I don't really think they wear false lashes on pirate boats, so this time I will draw the lashes myself using a very sharp black pencil. And I get really regular comments from people who hate false lashes on dolls, so guys, today is your day finally!
Now I need just to add the reflections to her eyes with white acrylic paint and then I can finally move to her body. You see how the body looked next to the just blush head? There is a huge difference, I think. And now I will have to repeat all the steps to make this body look exactly the same like the face. When the body is ready, I'm signing my doll and then I can finally put the head and the body back together. With the hair dryer I make your hair more flat and straight and this is exactly the same like a hot wash, but I don't need to make things wet in my studio like this. Let's apply a touch of glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and then we are going to make a real pirate chest full of gold for our pirate. Already quite long ago, probably really a year ago, I've got such a tiny chest in one of our local stores. And now it's finally time to use it. First I need to make loose all the screws and to remove the sticker. And by the way, the stickers go much easier off if you blow on them with hot air for a minute. Now I'm going to spray it with dark brown acrylic paint. A couple of hours later, when the paint is dry, I screw everything back together. Then I take two long stripes of carton and I glue them to the chest. When the glue is completely dry, I cover the stripes with golden acrylic paint. And then I take a dry brush and add some extra texture to the chest with dark brown and black acrylic paint.
Now let's make a mountain of golden coins and for this I will need carton, an old puncher, a lot of free time and strong hands of course. I nicely sprayed the carton coins with a couple of layers of golden acrylic paint and then I can finally put the treasure into the chest. And now we can finally put everything together and see what kind of outfit my mom has made. First of all, it's such a sailor shirt. Then we have a black skirt, it's made of real silk, it's quite heavy and it's very pretty falling down. Then we have a cotton underskirt decorated with lace. Then I have this soft red belt. And she also has a pair of long striped socks. On her head I put first a red scarf and then on top of it I will put a real pirate hat. Look, it's just legendary. I think my mom is just a genius to make such a hat. Then she has found somewhere such a tiny skull to make a neck decoration for her. And she also has a real sword. It comes from some toy set, I think, maybe Lego or something like this. And it fits the doll's hand just perfectly, look. And she also has a little friend. Because every real pirate must have a parrot. And here is our pirate girl. For me, honestly, it was a real challenge to make a doll without false lashes for once. Because the lashes make some special 3D effect. But I see also now that I've made the right decision because this doll with her very natural face needs no falsies. And what do you think about this pirate and the lashes and the chest and the gold and the pirate, just about everything we've made together today? What you've loved most or what could be better maybe? And also please send some extra love to my mom because I know that she always reads all the comments, but she never replies. So, it was the makeover of the week, I really hope you enjoyed it, and if so, please support this video with your likes, then YouTube will know that it can be recommended to other doll lovers as well. And of course, subscribe to my channel, because my crazy Halloween makeovers are coming very soon, and I promise, you don't want to miss them. So, subscribe, hit the bell button, and don't forget to come back here already very soon, the next week Friday. Bye!